in a, a larger hive with two, de two deeps and it's super. And so we found the queen here and we're gonna do a wash for Varroa mites to see if it's the same as the hive with a single deep, which was uh, four mites per 300 sampling. Okay, so she, she is laying up this frame. So definitely open brood. Let them nurse bees kind of gather back on that while I get this stinger out of the finger. I'm gonna take this frame and see what we got on it compared to that next one. Oh yeah. This one's got a pollen brood nurse bees. Okay. She must have been on this one and started back the other way. This one will give us some sample bees, so we're right there at that frame she was on. So we're gonna use this as our sample frame. We're gonna go at this just like this. Well, they didn't like that. They didn't take it as well as the last one. No, they didn't. No, they did not. All right, Mama, you want to go back to the frame you were already working. We'll try to get it as easy as possible. How about that? Get your old crankies down here so I can kind of see what's happening. You ready? Are you face down? Go. I saw her fall, I think. feel that? Look at it trying to pull off of that. Mm -hmm. Now where y'all gonna be like fussy and stuff? You just killed 300 of our people. Here's your honey back. See if that makes you any happier. My honey, but y'all can have it on the lawn. Okay. All right, one minute swirling, right? 60 seconds, one minute swirl time, yes. Are you ready for swirl time? I'm ready. Let's do the agitational. And a little swirly. This was, this, by the way, is the monster swarm colony. Double deep boxes, we've already taken. Boy, I'm getting alcohol all over everything. I don't know where my leak's at, but. Oh, I trapped a bee in the lid. Okay. What was I saying? The monster swarm. This is the monster swarm box that we got. Uh, put them in here and they made two supers of honey after they filled up the two deep boxes. 
And then have another one on there. Yeah, and then had to put one back on merely for volume control. All right, you're at a minute. Okay. I can already see more than four, I believe. Oh no, see, it's not so. There's my leak problem. Look at that. You see um, this? Yep. I'm right there. That is a Varroa. Hmm. Well. Put it down in the sample. Is that another one? Where's that part of that bee? Oh. Yeah. All right, so this was a 300 sample of a much larger colony. Well, that works much better without a bee carcass stuck in it. All right, let's wash them down. Much heavier load, huh? Yep, let's take the lid off and count here where we can look down. Look, is that, it must come up on the edge. Isn't there one right here? No. Right here. Is that not just the color of a base showing through? Oh, you're right. Put him in there. Okay. All right. So, that with light. Now I can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Here's the sample. Corinne can get the, the film on it. Is this one over to the edge? In that corner. Yep, washed out. All, All right. right. So a concern would be 15 for 300 bees. Yes. And so. you've got. I'm counting 13. So we're still not at a five mite per hundred. Hundred. But knocking on definitely knocking on treatable and and they will get treated here here's here's the goal with sampling you get true accurate i see them mite numbers when you do get these you don't want this big old double deep box to try to run through winter with 13 mites per 300 because that number is going to change when that all that brood hatches out that's where that mite load is going to come from all i'm getting at is if it's a doubt in your mind or you want to see something that might change your mind do it do a mite check i encourage you to do that you need to know how to do it you need to you need to be aware that that they're in our bees they, they need to be cleaned up if we intend to save these colonies from perishing from the viruses caused by the Varroa destructor. So, all that being said, I'm going to close out. I hope you've watched and enjoyed and learned something. Don't be afraid to do this. Jump in there and do it. Yes, you're going to kill a few bees, but it's going to benefit the colony in the end. We appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And until we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage.